the EMDR container exercise. Whether you are working with a therapist on EMDR or you're a therapist yourself working with clients with EMDR, or if you're doing EMDR self-administered, this container exercise can be super useful for any of those times when you are feeling flooded with emotions or memories or just sort of overwhelmed with the things that are troubling you. So in this video, I will walk you through a guided container exercise, and then I will also share some tools and techniques on how to use the container. And stay till the end because I have a free resource that I feel is very helpful for the EMDR process that I wanna share with you. So let's begin. So I invite you right now to really take a very deep breath, really a nice diaphragmatic breath. Inhale and exhale. And maybe lean back in your chair and just take a moment Close your eyes and take another deep breath and bring into your awareness that you will be learning a technique that will help you to manage difficult emotions. So you can do this exercise with your eyes open or closed. Sometimes it's easier to visualize things with our eyes closed, but it's totally up to you. So I'd like to invite you to bring to mind a container. And this container can be any size you want it to be. It can look like anything you'd like it to look like. And just make sure that it has a lid. It's a closable container and it will be accessible. Now we're using our imaginations, so access can be imaginary as well. But we will both be bringing to mind a container as well as a place to keep this container. So I'm going to be quiet for just a moment and I invite you to really visualize a container that can safely hold your difficult feelings, difficult memories, and overwhelming events. So really picture what this container looks like. And now take a moment and imagine putting into this container all the difficult feelings and emotions that you might be having. You can put into this container any difficult memories, memories that haunt you or trouble you. And just really take a moment and picture gathering all of that and putting it into the container. And if you need more time for this, you can always pause the video. If you feel that you have put all your memories, if you could picture really putting everything into this container, let's go ahead and close the lid. And now I'd like you to think of where you'd like to store this container. And picture yourself storing the container there. Now, we put things into a container to help ourselves function during those time periods when we don't need to be overwhelmed by the difficult emotions and thoughts. This doesn't mean we are avoiding or denying them or closing them away forever. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. In the EMDR processing or in any kind of processing that you might be doing with difficult emotions and difficult thoughts, we do need to set aside time where we will open up this container, take out one memory perhaps, or one difficult situation, or one difficult emotion, and really work with it. But we will be able to open the container and take one thing out at a time. So now I 
walked you through that exercise fairly quickly. It's a quick exercise without giving you a lot of guidance. But now that I'm talking and you've already gone through it, so your imagination has worked for you, I'm going to share some examples of containers. So sometimes people think of a very simple Tupperware type container and some of them put it in their refrigerator. Other people might think of a beautiful vase or a decorated box. I have also had people who have thought of like tankers, like an oil tanker, and then they've wanted to hide it in the bottom of the earth or the bottom of the ocean. And if you do that, if you hide it far away, just know that you will be using your imagination to have a tool to access it, to pull it back from the bottom of the earth or back from the bottom of the ocean, because we are not locking these things away. And then other clients of mine, when I was seeing people in person, Sometimes people would say, I want to leave the container on your bookshelf, and that's fine. So if you do go to see a therapist in person, you can picture the container waiting in his or her office, and then you can access that material when you have somebody to work it through with. So I'd also like to give you some examples of how this is used, who this can benefit, and so that you can really begin to use this technique, which can be very useful. Before I do that, I'd like to mention the PDF. It's a free PDF that I have. It's called Transform Your Negative Core Beliefs, and it derives from the EMDR process. It helps you really identify that negative core belief, and it provides you with three exercises that you can do to strengthen the positive core belief, to strengthen the positive core belief that offsets your negative core belief. So the link is below in the notes where you click show more, download that. I think it could be very useful for you no matter where you are in this process. And then I also want to mention, I have recently become an affiliate of Virtual EMDR, which is an online EMDR program. This program guides you through the EMDR process and you can have unlimited EMDR sessions and you can do it completely on your own or you could work with a coach. They do have coaches within the program that can help you go through the process. Now, one reason I'm super excited to become an affiliate with Virtual EMDR is that so many of my listeners are all around the world And many people do not have access to therapy or the therapy is too expensive. So I think this virtual EMDR provides a wonderful solution. So if you click show more under the notes, under the YouTube video, you will find a link for the virtual EMDR program. And you will also find a coupon code for 20% off. So they have given me that to be able to give to my followers which I think is wonderful. So I encourage you to check that out. So let's come back to when you can utilize this and what types of situations it comes into play for. So for people who have flashbacks from traumatic events or very upsetting events, the container exercise is something to use on a regular ongoing basis. So pretty much the moment you realize that you are in flashback mode, try to put the entire memory, the sights, smells, all of the bells and whistles that go with that memory into your container. And then when you decide to sit down with your therapist or to sit down with the virtual EMDR program and go through this, you can take out that memory. So that would be one thing is if you have flashbacks. Another situation could be that something very upsetting has happened to you. You just had a major breakup or you've lost someone very close to you and yet you need to function. You need to go to work and not be crying all the time or you are a parent and you need to be taking care of your kids and not letting them know how upset you are. So in those kind of situations, you can gather it all up, put it in the container, and then know that it is there for when you can process that, whether it's processing it with a friend, a therapist, or by yourself. And then the last situation I'd like to mention, there's many ways you can utilize this tool, but the last major one would be if you have so many memories and upsetting things that are happening and you kind of cycle from one to the other and it's hard to make progress processing one issue because another one comes up and another one comes up, put them all into the container. Choose one to work with. Choose just one to work with. 
and pull that one issue out of the container to work on. So I am hoping that this container exercise really facilitates your healing work with EMDR. If you feel this video was helpful for you, please do give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel. It helps a lot. It helps the analytics go up and more people are exposed to the material. And my goal with my overall channel is to bring tools and techniques that can help people live more joyful lives.